This video demonstrates our recent work on view-dependent refinement of progressive meshes. The general problem that we address is that of adapting the complexity of geometric models at runtime. The previously introduced progressive mesh representation defines for a given mesh a continuous sequence of approximations. These approximations can be rapidly traversed at runtime for efficient level of detail control. These sequences of LOD models are appropriate for many applications, but difficulties arise with large-scale models such as this terrain. As seen in this bird's eye view, many faces of the mesh lie outside the view frustum and do not contribute to the image, yet these faces require some processing. More importantly, the terrain is rendered at the same resolution everywhere. Ideally, the mesh should be selectively refined in a view-dependent way. Most of the previous work on view-dependent refinement addresses the cases of height fields and parametric surface tessellations. Like the recent work by Xia and Varshny, we generalize these ideas to work for arbitrary meshes. In this work, we create a framework for real-time selective refinement of arbitrary progressive meshes. We develop efficient view-dependent refinement criteria and use these in an incremental algorithm to adapt the mesh at runtime. We define three view-dependent refinement criteria. First, we demonstrate selective refinement based solely on the view frustum. The basic idea is to coarsen the mesh outside the view frustum in order to reduce load on the graphic system. In this wide angle view, the real view frustum is shown as the yellow rectangle. Because there are few dependencies in our refinement framework, the mesh quickly adapts between full detail and coarse approximation at the frustum boundary. As the criterion is conservative, it is guaranteed not to affect the view within the frustum. In this sequence, we see the regular view on the left and a bird's eye view on the right. All examples on this videotape are recorded in real time. We next add to the view frustum criterion a screen space geometric error tolerance. We measure surface deviation with respect to the original model and incrementally refine or coarsen the mesh based on the magnitude of that deviation when projected in screen space. Because the refinement operations stem from a carefully optimized sequence, the resulting approximations quickly recover the original geometry, more so than in quad-tree-like schemes. Currently, the screen space error tolerance is set to one pixel. Here is what happens to the mesh as we modify this tolerance. Our surface deviation metric includes both a uniform and a directional component. Therefore, in this rotating sphere, more refinement naturally occurs near the silhouette where the surface deviation is orthogonal to the view direction. Our third refinement criterion is surface orientation. Its purpose is to coarsen regions of the mesh oriented away from the viewer. In this example, we use the progressive mesh representation of a NURBS tessellation of course, the Utah teapot. What can only be seen from the top view is that the back-facing region of the mesh is kept quite coarse. This helps to further reduce graphics load. Although our scheme is most conveniently illustrated using simple surfaces, the fully detailed mesh may be arbitrary, as demonstrated here. Within our framework, it's possible to create smooth visual transitions, or geomorphs, between any two selectively refined meshes. The final demo is a real-time flight over the Grand Canyon. Here, the fully detailed mesh has 400,000 faces. It has been pre-simplified from an original mesh of over 700,000 faces. A simple controller adjusts the screen space tolerance from frame to frame so as to maintain approximately 9,000 active faces. Previous demos ran on an Indigo 2 Extreme. This one runs on an Impact for improved texture mapping performance. 
For fast rendering, we use a greedy algorithm to efficiently generate triangle strips at every frame. This concludes our official in-flight presentation. We invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the remainder of the flight. The captain predicts a smooth, unturbulent journey.